welcome to another episode of Growing in Our Faith. I'm Sherry with Fairview United Methodist Church in Dayton, Ohio. We're so happy that you're here with us today on the very first Sunday of a brand new year. Happy 2021! Can you believe that we are still having to have virtual Sunday school? This pandemic is going on for a very long time. Whew, it's been lasting a lot of days. Hmm, that's going to be a similar theme in today's story. So today we're celebrating something called Epiphany, which is the celebration of the wise men or the kings or the astrologers or whatever they were making their way to visit the baby Jesus. And it was nothing like when the shepherds went. The shepherds, remember, were out in the field. The angel came and proclaimed that the king had been born in Bethlehem. They dropped everything they were doing and ran a few miles and boom, they were visiting the baby Jesus. Well, the story is not the same for the wise men as we are about to see. So let's focus our minds again on today's story the wise men following the star. Welcome everyone. Today is the first Sunday after Christmas. We hope that you had a wonderful Christmas with your family. Today our story is about the Magi. The Magi are the wise men from the East who followed the star. They followed the star on a caravan, and our story today is written like a journal. Do you know what a journal is, Hayden? Yes. Kind of records what you've been doing? Yes. So they started their number one journal entry about a very strange star. A bright star, a new star, and at that time, people thought a new star meant that a king had been born. So they wanted to go and follow this star and find this new king. Well, by day 234, they were still following the star. They wrote, we hope the new king hasn't moved or isn't grown by the time we get there. The star is still going ahead of us. So we knew we were on the right trail, but how much longer? They didn't know. After a whole year, they were still following the star. We're getting a little tired of traveling, they wrote in their journal, but the star is still going ahead of us. It is leading us to the west. The camels probably think we're crazy, but we know what we're doing. By day 638, they said, we came to a large city called Jerusalem. There a king lives. Perhaps he will know what to make of this new king. So they asked for an audience with the king and it took them two days to be able to go and see the king. And they told him about this new star and this new king that they were looking for. And he seemed very interested and called in his advisors. And he said, go and find this, this king and tell me, come back and tell me, cause I'd like to meet him. So off they went on their journey. The star was there again and they followed it. And on day 730 was the big day because they found the new king. He was with his mother in a house in Bethlehem. When they found him, they knelt down and they gave him very special gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. So after just one day, they were decided to go home, but they decided they were gonna take a different route. They didn't wanna go through Jerusalem because they just weren't sure that they trusted that king. So they left and they went home on a different route. But Jesus was two years old by the time they reached him. So they traveled a very long way 
for a very long time. And they were from Persia, which is now Iran, and India, and Arabia, which is now Saudi Arabia. So they were like astronomers who study the stars. And they were very committed to finding why there was this new star and welcoming this new king. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas, and now we're on to after Christmas, which is called Epiphany, and that's when the wise men visited baby Jesus, and so in your box, everybody get your craft box, I hope you still have it, because there's one last thing to do in there for Epiphany, and it says on it, Wise Men Sunday, January 3rd. So what you have in there is a big star because, oh, I hope I can get it out of this bag. There we go. Um, because the wise men followed a star, a special star in the sky. So I thought we could make a special star. And what you have is the star some yarn of all different colors. There's five points on the star. And so I have five different colors of yarn in your box and stickers. We love stickers, don't we? And there's lots of stickers and these are little bitty stars and all different colors. So you could put those on your big star. And here I'll show you a finished project. This is what it looks like with the um, stars all over your star and with your little, uh, what could we call these? This is your little streamers out on your star. Now I am gonna show you how to put the streamers on. What you do, you take one of your yarns and you fold it in half. That's easy enough, okay? You got a loop at one end, and you got the tails at the other end, you know, the loose ends. So you take the loop end, and you find one of the holes in, on, in the star. You put the loop end through the hole, like that. Oops, let's hold it up here so you can see. So you have the loop end and the tail end, and it's through the hole. Then you take the tails and put them through the loop and pull it together. And what you have is a little, it's a little knot-like thing on there with the tails. Okay, so should I do it one more time? Maybe I will. You take the yarn, you put it in half. So you have a loop and the tails. You take the loop end you put it through the hole. Then you take the tails and put them through that loop and pull it together. Okay, and then you could find somewhere in your room to hang this neat star. And it'll make you remember the, what's that word? Epiphany, the day, the time of year when the wise men visited baby Jesus. Today, we're going to be singing a song from the United Methodist Hymnal. Because it's Epiphany, we're going to sing a hymn that is called We Three Kings. How appropriate, right? <laughs> so, we're only going to sing the first verse and the chorus, but it's perfect for today because it's about the kings following a star. So, watch the words below, and I hope that you remember it because we're not going to take the time to learn it. We're just going to sing it together now, okay? I'll play the chorus one time so you can hear it, and then we'll go back and sing the verse and the chorus together.
time. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus. Help us to remember that you sent Jesus to all people around the world. May we always follow your light. Amen. Well, that's our story for today. The wise men made their way to see the baby Jesus. 700 and 30 days. That's more than two years. There's 365 days in a year. Wow! Can you imagine having a new baby in your family and not being able to get there to see them until they're two years old? Wow! I'm sure there are babies that have been born during the pandemic time that you probably haven't got to meet yet. So it's kind of similar to what happened with the wise men and baby Jesus. We just have to be patient and keep following the star. Or as we like to say as Christians, following the light of Christ. So now I want to welcome you into this new year and our new way of doing virtual Sunday school. We won't be having an episode every single Sunday, but we will be having episodes every other Sunday. So today's January 3rd, the next episode will come out on January the 17th, and it will be a whole new series of stories and crafts and messages from the Bible. Now, if you would like to get the supplies and you are not already on our list to bring you a new craft box full of new crafts, then please contact Fairview Church in Dayton, Ohio at office at fairviewunitedmethodist.org and explain that you've been watching Virtual Sunday School and you would love to have a craft box delivered to your home. And we'll be sure that we include you with our crafts. And then, from January 17th all the way up until Easter or however long the pandemic seems to last, you will be able to share in the Bible stories with us and make the crafts with us and sing the songs with us. Also, remember that we would love to see the things that you've made during this holiday season. So if you have your ornaments up on a tree or your calendar now full of stickers. We would love to see that. We would love to see pictures of you with anything that you've made. You can send those at the same address, office at fairviewunitedmethodist.org. And we'll see if we can get them posted in a worship service or maybe the columns newsletter. Well, have yourself a wonderful start to 2021. And remember to keep following the light of Jesus in everything you do in this year. We love you. We're praying for you. And we hope that you continue to follow the light of Jesus. Bye.